So today, me and my dog, Ran Leezy, finna install some function and form type one callovers for y'all today. How many times we did this before? On this car? On this car alone. I lost count. Absolutely. Lost count, so we actually kind of know what we're getting ourselves into today. Kinda. It should be a quick little install video for you guys. Hope you guys enjoy it. Thumbs up the video. I mean, you ain't doing nothing else. So, just hit the little thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, you ready to get to work, man? Alright, let's, right, let's do it. So, you want to start by removing the wheel, jack the car up. We already got the car jacked up, so you want to jack the car up, put it on all fours. I don't have rear jack stand, so, you know, whatever. So, you want to start by removing the wheel. Oh, Lord! You do not want this. This is highly unacceptable. <laughs> That's crazy. For the process of removing the um, fork from the over itself, you want to remove this long 17 bolt at the bottom. There's a nut on the other side of it. Yeah. Hammering a screwdriver works as well. And get this little hole that's being thing. And there goes that. We're going to remove a 14 millimeter bolt at the top on the fork itself. Randy got his side almost in. Now it's just a matter of putting the fork onto the suspension itself. And he got it. So his side's pretty much done. And I'm going to finish up my side and get that over installed. trying to remove my fork I realized there was no bolt in my fork so probably could have died a couple times while driving the car but <laughs> YOLO amigo this is my call over well this is not supposed to happen funny thing is there's still bolts bolted on the shock tower Savage. my side but the fork bolt that I found does not really go for this fork it's not going all the way through so all right so Randy brought up an uh, interesting point I put the bolt in the wrong way it was going this side and out that way so let me do that real quick so I was using the wrong freaking bolt the whole time got the right one in there now we're good this side is completely done time to do the rear start by removing the wheel and then at the lower control arm, you have a 14 millimeter bolt you want to take out and two 17 millimeters up top. We're going to start by removing the bottom. Let's get into it. He's removing the two top 17 millimeter bolts so we can drop the coil over and we should be good. Randy is now compressing the spring the best way he can to get it released from the top. He got the bolts. He took all the bolts off or he left two up top? No, I took them off. Alright, so he left off. You sure? <laughs> if you have a stubborn shock, this would be the best way to go. Standing on the wheel hub. Here, I'll stand on it. I'll stand on it and you just try to get it. Ah. Look at that junk. So as I was going to remove the bolts, I realized that I'm missing one. For the people who actually took rides in my car, I'm sorry I could have killed you. But hey, you didn't die. All right, I got my side in. Now it's just time to jack it up and put the shock, put the low control arm through the coilover shock. Where to put it? You're gonna put it on the low control arm, this thing right here. Sides are done. Remove the jack, put the wheels back on.
finished putting the wheels on. Now we're gonna lower the back first. Let's see what's on the jack. Easier. All right. Let's see how that looks. Well, it won't really set it in until we um remove the front. This is the stock preload of the functioning forms. That's how it looks, stock. No adjustments been made, straight from the box. That's perfect. Straight from the box, boy. Well, that will conclude the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. It's probably the worst install video, but I tried. And um, yeah. What was the suspension? <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you can, please leave me a radio thumbs up on the video. Um, I'll definitely like make my final adjustments in another video and give you guys a full review on it. All right, make sure to follow my boy Randy on Instagram and give my cameraman a clean follow too. Follow him on his Instagram too. Thank you guys for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. We out. Peace. Don't click off the video yet. I don't know how I forgot to say this, but if you guys would like a set of your own function and form callovers, go to www. I think I use like four W's in that but www.f2autolife.com. Pick out whichever callover set you want for your specific car model and use code Zosh for 10% off, which will save you hella money, son, okay? I also wanna say thank you to Function Inform for making this video possible. Keep making great products. I can't wait to freaking represent you guys the best of my abilities. Thank you guys for taking a chance on me. Hope you guys don't regret it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys later. I'm out. Peace. <laughs> oh, before I forget again, guys, if you'd like any more assistance or any how-to on installing your own set of coilovers, they have a section on their shop site, which is f2autolife.com, called Tech Tips. Check that out. They got how-to guides, and if you need any further assistance, email them or call them, man. They will help. They will hook you up. I'm telling you, man. They is the real deal, baby. Check them out. Now let me close this video again. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a thumbs up. Buy some coilovers, use discount code Zosh, and I'ma holla at you. Peace. Subscribe to my channel. Beer!